And right now, there is no better company car than a Model Y. Welcome to my channel, Rudy Romo here. One of Oscar Wilde's most famous quotes is this one, imitation is the best form of flattery. In this video, I will outline two enormous actions that Legacy Auto has taken to concede that Tesla is the undisputed EV leader and the best they can do is to emulate Tesla's already proven steps to completing the transition to EVs from ICE cars. I will also list the gigantic challenges the Legacy Auto faces in their transition from ICE cars to EVs. For the record, if you've seen my previous videos, I predicted these two developments involving the supercharger network and the gigapress and mega casting several months ago. I also predict that most of Legacy Auto will license Tesla's full self-driving once they realize they will never catch up to Tesla. These are the two eventualities that I predicted. A, most OEMs have already committed to using Tesla's global supercharging network along with its NACS adapter. Ford, GM, Rivian, Volvo, Polestar, Mercedes, Nissan, Honda, Jaguar, Hyundai, Genesis, and Kia. This was the first sign that Legacy Auto finally recognized Tesla as the leader in EV infrastructure. The ones who have yet to commit to the Tesla superchargers will soon follow. B, another huge concession by Legacy Auto that Tesla has the superior manufacturing methodology is the fact that Toyota, Ford, and Volvo recently announced that they will be using the Gigapress to build front and rear castings, which eliminate hundreds of parts, reducing cost and improving quality, just like Tesla. Tesla has a significant head start in terms of EV manufacturing and technology, and legacy automakers are struggling to catch up. Legacy automakers are facing a number of challenges as they transition to electric vehicles. Let's name them one by one. Legacy is years behind Tesla on EV manufacturing. Tesla has been manufacturing EVs for over a decade, while Legacy automakers are just starting to ramp up production. This gives Tesla a significant advantage in terms of experience and expertise. Tesla already has some of the best engineering teams when it comes to EV batteries, autopilot and full self-driving software, robotics, supercomputing, and artificial general intelligence. Tesla and SpaceX are the two most popular employers globally for engineering talent. Legacy lacks Tesla's vertical integration. Tesla controls its entire supply chain from battery manufacturing to vehicle assembly, even lithium mining and refining. This gives Tesla more control over its costs and quality. Legacy automakers, on the other hand, rely on a network of suppliers which can lead to increased costs and complexity. Tesla can devote all of its resources to developing and manufacturing electric vehicles. Legacy automakers, on the other hand, need to continue to manufacture internal combustion engine cars to generate revenue until their EVs become profitable. This is a distraction that will make it more difficult for legacy automakers to compete with Tesla on EVs. Legacy Auto has worker unions which too frequently go on strike, adds to the cost of goods sold and disrupts production. Tesla does not have worker unions. Legacy Auto relies on costly advertising. Legacy automakers spend billions of dollars on advertising each year. Tesla spends the absolute minimum on advertising and relies on brand recognition, repeat customers, and referrals. Legacy Auto relies on car dealerships, which adds thousands to the cost of each car. Legacy automakers sell their vehicles through a network of dealerships. Tesla sells its vehicles directly to consumers, which eliminates the cost of dealerships. Tesla's autopilot and full self-driving software is recognized as the best software and gets better with over-the-air updates. Tesla is constantly improving its software through over-the-air updates. Legacy automakers are struggling to catch up with Tesla in terms of software development. Again, I see a future where Legacy Auto will have no choice but to license Tesla's autopilot and full self-driving software. Tesla has already built multiple gigafactories, not just for EVs, but also for batteries, which include the 4680 product line, which will greatly reduce battery costs. This gives Tesla a significant advantage in terms of scale and efficiency. 
Legacy automakers are just starting to build their own gigafactories and have yet to prove they can produce a profitable EV. Tesla is now entering the most lucrative segment in the auto industry, the trucking industry with the launch of the Cybertruck and Semi-Truck. The Semi has received raving reviews and the Cybertruck's demand with 2 million plus pre-orders is expected to be a huge winner for Tesla. Tesla has multiple revenue streams, EVs, full self-driving, smart energy storage, Optimus bots, supercomputing as a service, artificial general intelligence, etc. Government regulations. Governments around the world are implementing regulations that favor EVs. This is putting pressure on legacy automakers to transition to EVs more quickly. Consumer demand. Consumer demand for EVs is growing rapidly. Legacy automakers need to meet this demand in order to stay competitive. Conclusion. Legacy automakers are investing heavily in EVs, but they have a lot of ground to make up. Tesla is the clear leader in the EV market and legacy automakers will need to work hard to catch up. I personally think the best legacy auto companies can do is to survive as number two, three or four. Nobody catches Tesla. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, share and subscribe so that YouTube algorithms will get it to more people. If you disagree with any of the points made or if you have any suggestions on how to improve future videos, please comment below. The material and thoughts shared here are based on my own personal research and factual to the best of my knowledge. Please do your own research.